Hey guys, just really quickly before the video starts, I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna be having a huge Strong and Sexy Black Friday sale where all of my lifting accessories are gonna have 50% off, um, which will include my home resistance bands, my lifting straps, my lifting gloves, my glute bands, my barbell pad, and yeah, just basically everything. Um, I'm also gonna be having 20% off, 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 all of my app subscriptions on my Strong and Sexy Fitness app. So my fitness app is just really gonna help give you that routine and structure. So when you walk in the gym, you don't have to think about a thing um, on the training side and also the nutrition side to help you reach your goals. So yeah, just set your alarms guys because you're not gonna wanna miss it. I have to creep up on him so he doesn't know I'm there. Otherwise he gets scared. Honey. Hen Hen, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Are they the right ones? Okay, so you know the other day me and Romain was on a, the bike ride and my foot kept getting caught on the tyre and he was calling me Bigfoot and the Hendersons. I don't actually even know what that is. Dad, do you know what that is? Yeah, it's about the uh, big uh, jet ski <laughs> in America. <laughs> the children's programme, the film. Oh, I didn't even know where it was. I just thought it was someone with a big foot. <laughs> oh, is that Bigfoot? Yeah, Bigfoot. Oh. But basically the removal men put the bikes together and they did both mine and remains the same and they put everything the wrong, wrong way round. So now my dad's gonna... <laughs> But that's gonna fix it so then I can have a proper bike ride because I was always worried about going around corners and nearly falling off. It was really annoying me. So we just turn them around and then I won't be Bigfoot and the Hendersons anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that even looks more yeah. this way. Oh my god, I thought yeah. there was something wrong with me. I was like, why am I not enjoying my bike rides anymore? Because it was around that one. Oh my the god! Were around that yeah! One. Oh my god, look how close. <laughs> oh, jeez. My mum and dad are here, obviously, guys, as you know. And we're getting fit, aren't we, dad? We are getting fit. We're getting fit. My mum and dad are getting fit with us and basically using this time with us to lose some weight. So we're going for an hour walk every morning, fast pace. We're currently out already in the morning, um, getting our cardio in. So probably going to go for like an hour walk, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. We're going to walk around housing estates. We're going to head down to the other housing estates and have a look because we like looking at all the gardens and stuff like that. Mum, say hi. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> That's my holiday hello. Oh, okay. That's your holiday hello. Yeah, that's how I'm like, hi. <laughs> I can understand that with that weather. <laughs> Hi. No, but that is that is so true. When when it's sunny or whatever, you do go, hello. <laughs> it's like a little song. It's like singing. Okay. I always forget which way to look on the road. I still forget. Oh, opposite of our home, obviously. <laughs> yeah, but I just forget. And I always look the same way as the UK still. <laughs> Remain and my dad do two and a half laps or three laps around the park and then me and my mum just do two because my mum can't move if she's got little legs. Although I just, I think that's an excuse to be honest. <laughs> I think she just says she's got little legs so she don't have to walk. <laughs> she's like, I've got little legs. I say, mum, swing your arms. And she's like, I can't. And then she gets all the wrong way round and she's like, oh. <laughs> so, so yeah, we're gonna, gonna see how much weight my dad can lose by the end of the, of the four weeks. You're doing well, aren't you? It's been three three days. I am doing well. And you've lost weight already, haven't you? Yes, just, I have. You're just saying, Rain, about Dad. Yeah. And you, like, powering him through. Yeah, we've done six, well, we did 6K yesterday. Today was about 5K. So we do that every day, we was call it here, good pace. Yeah. And try and drop once in. How's it looking? Damn, no more big fun, the Hendersons. Yes. Yeah, go. look, it's much. What? It's much far forward. I'm not going to look like all squashed <laughs> up together when I'm riding it now. <laughs> and you all one. Yeah. It looks way better. Yeah, that is better. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Cole. Thanks, Dad. Yay! Yeah. And while we're out here, actually, I'll quickly show you the garden quickly. 
so we've got all the tiles down. I don't actually know what you guys have seen so far. So tiles down, waiting for the artificial grass. We've got the palm trees up, the little trees here. Now we've now got the little tiles that go up to the pool, and then the concrete's been put in over there as well. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Woohoo! Okay, so I finally got my Alex drawers from IKEA fitted and put together, um, and then I've put my drawer dividers in here that. I had my old ones and then all of my stuff is here. I actually put all this stuff here like two or three days ago now and it's literally just stayed like this because I've been really busy with Gymshop Black Friday stuff and Strong and Sexy stuff that, yeah, I haven't got around to doing it yet. So today, I'll, or for the next couple of hours, I'm gonna start putting all of my makeup and skincare stuff away in here. I've actually done, I've done a little bit. Um, here so far but I've got so much more to put in these drawers and this is what happened last time my last drawers broke because I think there was too much stuff in there so I'm gonna have to be like a little bit careful so I've just put my makeup bags down there because I've actually got way more stuff like way 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 more stuff it's <laughs> still such a mess in there because I haven't moved over there yet so I've literally got all of this all of this all these few bits here as well and um, this is full to put away as well. Okay, so what I've just done is, oh my god, <laughs> I've just separated out the makeup into different piles. So like I've got my concealers here, my highlighters here, my bronzers here, my foundations here, lip stuff, eye stuff, eyeshadows, eyeshadows, <laughs> eyebrows, uh, brushes. And then I've just put more brushes up there. Um, so yeah, um, not sure who I think I am. I think I think I'm some kind of makeup artist or something with all the gear and absolutely no idea because how many foundations do I need? <laughs> um, so yeah, and the thing is, I don't even hardly wear any of this. It's just it, like, you know, if like, I've just built it up over so many years. Um, and I guess I've just always got it there if I need to use it, which is really handy. And I've actually missed a lot of this. So I'm really excited to get, <laughs> to like organize it, clean it all and put it back in my drawers. <laughs> I am so far. So I've got some bits in here, some skincare bits and whatnot in here, some more skincare bits and whatnot in here, uh, some tanning bits in here. Although I might move those out, but I'm just going to put them there for now. Um, yeah, all of my bronzers, my highlighters and brushes, mostly foundations and concealers, and then eye stuff, some lip stuff in there. All of my eyeshadow palettes and bronze and bronzers and whatnot. And all my hair stuff in here, hair bands in here, and then just some random stuff in there. <laughs> so I've actually taken my perfumes off there because they just looked messy. So I've put them in there for now because I keep forgetting I've got this whole wardrobe as well. So I've put those in there and then I've got all of my fake tan in here loads back there um, and then I've just put my newer ones here because I'm not sure what these ones are going to be like to be honest because um, I've had them for quite a while and they're, they've still got the plastic on but I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be green um, so I probably should open them just check but these are my newer ones here um, so yeah that is pretty much where i'm at right now and i'm feeling so much better to be organized oh it just feels amazing it's like a fluffy little like it's all floppy put some treats in there i mean he likes you know he's going for the treats i think it's big enough yeah he'll probably lay down the treats is like i'm good 
Good boy, Hendrix. <laughs> He's just looking to see him. Right, we'll see you in a bit, Dad. Bye. See you later, Colin. Eventually, but he was really freaked out by that he, box. He, he, he's not fair. He's not fair. And I feel so bad. So also, they're gonna just scan for a microchip, like, just in case he isn't a stray, which we're pretty sure he is, judging by what the guy said at the garden centre box. We need to just double check that. So I'm kind of really hoping that he's not, obviously. I'm like really worrying. So it's like the moment of truth. Yeah, you, you checked yeah. on the you there. On the Instagram pages for lost. Yeah, we've lost checked cats. like as I've much lost and found animal yeah. cat places in Dubai. We've looked at everywhere we can. So, we can't even see anything yeah. about Hendrix, so. Yeah, so they think he's around six months old. He's not my creature. <laughs> when he first put it on and it beeped, I was like, mm. Yeah, I was as well. Because <laughs> oh. he's so good. Yeah. And, he, and the vet said he's really clean. And, it's really healthy. His teeth are so clean as well. I know, I know. He's such a clean cat. So in the end, we were like, what about if he is microchipped and he is someone's pet? God knows how he would have got down there, but because he's so clean. It does make you wonder. Mm. And he's such a good looking cat as well. And he's, and he's, so good and he's healthy looking and like he's but. a healthy weight, isn't he? And he's a really healthy weight, 2.5 kilos. Isn't yeah, 2.7 kilos. So, so yeah, he's gone. Off with the vet now to <laughs> vaccinate and everything. He's so good though. He just we weren't allowed to film in there by the way. But he just sat on there, didn't he? he just let him check in, just sat there, like didn't try and run off. He's so good. The breed as well. Oh yeah, he said he's a domesticated short haired cat. Just a short haired cat. But they said. have like a booster in like three to four weeks, so he has to come back. But like, from what he was saying, he's like he's not gonna get very much bigger. But he said he's quite a small he's, like, he's quite he's small, small anyway. for his age. But that, that could be because he's stray though. So, we're just chilling, you know, working around the table. My mum and dad are sitting outside and Romaine has decided that, because they're outside and basically Hendrix was looking out the window and my mum came in, she's like, oh, he knows we're out there. And now Romaine thinks it's a good idea to just let him out. So I've put his collar on. Yeah, he's got his little tag on. I put his collar on. <laughs> Look at his collar. <laughs> I forgot to show you. Let me see it from Mr. Hendrix has got a little bow collar. <laughs> looking very Look smart. <laughs> Look at him. I must say, you're looking very smart. <laughs> he is so in love with us. I know he is. And living here now. I know, but it's just scary. He isn't going to go anywhere. And the, the neighbourhood's so quiet now. It's not one car on the road. What about if he didn't come back the whole night? I really don't want to, but. He's, he's such oh, a house cat. I really wanted to come back tonight because I wanted some snuggles. Getting ready to pounce. Oh, it's getting serious. He's on the floor. And. <laughs> We're having a little drink outside in our half finished garden this evening. It's too nice of an evening to sit inside. We're out here with nice the hawthorns. Nice oh, he's wandering. Oh, God, he's going for it now. Okay, so little update. Um, so he's obviously come out, I don't know where he is now, he's around the corner, but he kind of like was sniffing around, weren't he? And then what did you say, Mum? He went over the, f he went round out onto the road. Yeah, and then he went under the car. Yeah, he, so he's like investigated all of the garden, and then he's gone out onto the actual road, like sniffing all around. And then, yeah, he's, he's basically he's come back, so it's fine. <laughs> right now, I don't know where he is, I think he's around the. He's around the corner. Oh, there he is. 
Yeah, he's around there now. So he's literally like staying in the garden or just going right just outside. Um, and then he literally just ran past me and ran off the, he literally ran up this palm tree. There he is! Oh! <laughs> <There he> is. <laughs> Oh, he's coming back. I'm so happy about that. Yay! He's coming back. He must like us then. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> he basically ran up the palm tree. He was hanging off the top of it. <laughs> Hennef the first. <laughs> <laughs> he's got loads of names already. He's got Hendrix, Henny, Henny. Oh, look, he's gone up that tree now. He's got, he honestly, he's getting really, really jumpy and hangy <laughs> off of things. <laughs> oh, he was just laying down. Hey? He was just laying down over there. <laughs> he's still with us. Oh. 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 He's got all of this and he wants to lay here.